everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nushin I create product design videos in this video I want to give you a walkthrough of my UX design portfolio landing page this is the fourth time that I am creating a new portfolio <laughs> this year I'm ending 2024 with another one I feel like I need to get myself up to date and just get aligned with the design market that's why I decided to just create a new one and update my case studies in the portfolio my portfolio is designed in Webflow and let me open it up this is my landing page at the top you can see that i have the sticky na top navigation that you can have all of the links my logo my resume at the top left my logo is super simple i didn't want to put my picture in a big size because i feel like it's not professional i don't know but uh, I made it very small as a logo here and then uh, here's my name and the location that I'm based off on these are the links to sections of my portfolio I have projects about speaking and writing I'm gonna go over each section later bear with me and then we have the my resume uh, to download so that hiring managers can go straight and download my resume to see my work experience here at the top we have the intro there is like a picture that I put all of my work that I've been doing just to give a general idea of what I am expertized in this here is the CTA again I have emailed me and let's connect with LinkedIn as a secondary button this is really important that you put a CTA and value proposition in your intro so that hiring managers can know how they can connect with you if they want to just talk on LinkedIn or if they want to view an interview request one important thing about the intro is that I see a lot of designers get this mistake and just put their role their location like I'm a UX designer based in San Francisco this kind of intro doesn't give any idea to hiring managers that what is your skill set what industry are you working and are you interested in working in what's your past experiences your personality what is that as you can see uh, i have the uh, industry that i'm planning to work in as fintech and enterprises i have designing digital products so what i do i design digital products where i design it for enterprises and fintech since then since 2019 so a lot of questions <laughs> solves in just one simple short sentence also i've added with a global audience on youtube so that like recruiters have an idea that i'm interested in like putting my knowledge out there in the world and i highlight my current work experience which is currently senior ux designer at simply financial this type of introduction is the best one that you can just write about and think about what industry are you planning to work for and like uh, from when give all of those things in your introduction on the top banner but remember to make it short on the first page your case studies are the most important part of your portfolio don't make the introduction long summarize everything so that everyone can go straight into your case studies before i go through the case studies i want to show you my previous intro uh, so that you can see why i decided to uh, update my portfolio as a whole this uh, portfolio didn't get me any interviews so as you can see here i have i'm a senior product designer with six years of experience and i have my picture here i design user-friendly digital products that looks great and who sells all while keep things accessible and easy to use i deleted this portfolio because it is very cheesy it's not genuine it's like a chat gpt kind of copy that you would get don't go with this kind of intros because they're not as impactful as this one that is super highlighted 
Let's go to the case studies. As you can see, I have four projects and all of them are from my previous work, Simply Financial. I have the uh, title, the description, very short in just one line. So put a character limit in your uh, descriptions and titles and also the year is highlighted here with a thumbnail image. All of my thumbnails are similar so that they are consistent. Simple is always better. Keep that in mind and don't go crazy. For the titles, try not to put generic titles that you see everywhere. For example, redesign Instagram or Spotify redesign or landing page design for e-commerce store try to put the problem or the solution into your title for example uh, here I have platform modernization so the reason why I chose this title is that I redesigned the home page of uh, the mobile app of a financial mobile app in order to put a modern look into it so that's why I have platform modernization so try to be creative with your titles and um, yeah, make them exciting, make them like different from other uh, design portfolios. That would be perfect. The next uh, section is my speaking and writing. So I decided to put all of my top high viewed YouTube videos here as uh, speaking sections and also my newsletters and articles for the writing section. This is a really important section that you can put in your portfolio. This is not mandatory because it shows hiring managers that you are um, very passionate from the bottom of your heart. You are very passionate in order to uh, put your knowledge into the world. You have a design community for yourself. If you have not uh, have any community or social media account, that is okay. You can just think about other things that you do in your life as a hobby. For example, maybe you like to draw or do painting or if uh, maybe you had like photography exhibition in the past. Maybe you can just highlight those in your portfolio homepage. That would be very impactful so that uh, you can show your personality in your portfolio. In my footer, I have very simple. Thank you for visiting. Let's connect to discuss opportunities or my work. Again, email me, download my resume. This is very straightforward. There's no need to go crazy with your portfolio, guys. This is totally fine and very accessible. And I have my copyright and my social media links are here. Uh, so LinkedIn, YouTube, Medium, uh, Threads, Dribble, so that they can go over my social media accounts if they want to learn more about me. This is also optional. I just put them. It's nice to have so that you show your uh, always uh, creating designs and putting designs in uh, social media and on the internet and you are not afraid to get feedback and network with other people in your design community. In my next video, I'm gonna go over my projects, the plan for my case study page that I'm gonna create a video next week about that is to have my projects. I already created these project sections um, in Figma and I'm gonna move everything here to Webflow. But I feel like the uh, case study here is super long for all of my projects. This is super long and it looks like as a junior designer, you created this case study. For your case study, try to just shrink everything and summarize everything and keep it very short because uh, recruiters maybe spend 20 seconds uh, on your case study, a very short amount of time on your case study. and. They don't have time to go through that. If they are interested, they would call you and just request an interview so that you can uh, go through in depth in the interview call and present your project uh, case study in the interview. So um, yeah, just try to keep it short. I'm gonna create a video about that to how to make your projects short but you can see this video where i went over my first portfolio design website that got me hired as a junior designer 
in a tech startup so you can watch that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i create product design tips and tutorials for you to improve in your career in your design career thank you so much guys for watching this video until the end until the next video bye